Hey everyone and welcome back to this video. So in today's video we'll be answering a quick question from the previous episode. Um, people asked about how to override a cart for example class in PrestaShop or employee class. Uh, so we'll be doing that so quick just to proof of concept showing you what to do exactly to have an overrided or overridden class. I still struggle with this couple of words. Um, so it actually would be answering these questions from my previous video. Uh, let me just jump quickly to my comment section. So here, AGNG, uh, AG, AG. Uh, okay, so good job. Thank you, guy. Thank you, man, for a couple of words here. Is it possible to override employee class in 1.77? The answer is yes. And also, but um, <laughs> actually, I don't know what you need to do with this class, but it's possible anyway. But also from Wonderlust Neil, hopefully I spelled that correctly. Great explanation. Thank you, man, too. Can't wait to know the best practices to override uh, class stack available and card core. Oh, so this is what I'm going to do today, overriding the card control. Also, uh, I would like to thank of everybody and everyone who left a couple of words. Really, really appreciate that. Mohamed, Goma, Armin, uh, Ahmed, Dolls, um, Al, Alert, Vega, Arlet, sorry, Vega. It's, it's not good to really to misspell people's names, you know. Uh, the dude, the binary dude here. So anyway, enough talking. Let's get into our work. So here I have like a basic installation of PrestaShop. I think it's the 1.77, yeah, the latest version. And um, this is my ID. So to speed up a bit the process, I opened the card controller, the card class, sorry, that is basically located on the classes folder and will be doing this override. So to do override and if you did your homework, then you know what you need to do. So I'll go to um, override, not there, sorry, I mean here. So we need to jump to override DAR. Well, my ID is not helping me. Yes, override DAR, go to the classes directory and right there, create a new file. And the file name must be card, you guessed that. So here, card.php. Click that and we need to speed up also the process because I'm very lazy. I'll be copying this, uh, this little section of code. So here, <clears throat> don't forget the PHP tags here and there. And also the closing tag. I still struggle with this, um, this Windows keyboard on a Mac. So it's not really a good idea. And we need to tweak a bit. So here, instead of cart core, we need to change that to cart. And here we'll be replacing object model with card core. So if you get the point here, we have an hierarchical, hierarchical, and we have a tree of uh, extending here. So anyway, um, still, uh, it's still some word that I don't know how to pronounce them correctly in English. So here we have the main dude who is the, the card model or the object model, sorry. And that is like the, the, the big parent of these dudes. And after that, we have the card core. And after that, we have uh, this card. So it's like a tree that we, um, that we jump from child to parent, etc. It's kind of a stupid way to explain things. Um, so uh, as I said here, so uh, we created the class. Then for now, it does, it does nothing. So we need to uh, override something here. Uh, so let's go ahead and override the bear. The, the simple thing would be the constructor. And this is our constructor, except that I don't. Okay, there you go. So this is it. I'll go ahead and stupidly copy all the content of this method and paste it here like that. Okay, so we have some, some errors here. We'll be fixing that later. But let's do that because here he's trying to load a service loader locator. We, did, we talked about this in the previous video, by the way. Uh, what does this service locator do? And he's trying to load it from a certain namespace here, which is PrestaShop, PrestaShop adapter, service locator. Okay, let's go back to our website and try to see what will happen there. Okay, so nothing will happen because we did nothing to that constructor. But I'll go ahead and add a stupid echo here. Hello, YouTube, YouTube from override classes. And let's call this cart. Okay, don't forget the semicolon. 
and let's do refresh we sh we see nothing here because basically we need to clean the cache dudes every time we override or every time we create a new override class or module or whatever so go to uh, advanced performance and hit this button there and that should solve the problem okay so just give it a second here because it's uh, it's, it's a heavy process every time you clear the cache and this is why in prod it's always turned on and now if i do refresh i should see a message somewhere here come on there we go so hello youtube from override class so that was the quick proof of concept and how to do this overriding and in the coming days uh i will create like a, a full tutorial on this uh so by the way i think uh agng if i still remember the name uh override employee class oh sorry it's wonder wonder I think, dude, you will be creating like a new input in the database. So your goal will be to override this definition DIR that is basically containing the structure of the table in the database, I mean. So uh, you will do something like this here. And you, I suppose you'll be creating like uh, your custom uh, input here with some types validation stuff and later you need to update the database and so on and so on as i said i'll be doing a full video on this um at the end of this video hopefully this will be enjoyable like seven minutes so quick uh please if you're not subscribed for goodness sake do subscribe and leave a couple of words or if you are so lazy just hit the thumb bar that's simple it's like scroll down click and go thank you for watching see you in the coming one and peace